What's up? We're recording. What's up? What's up? What it do, baby? What up, all you fucking bastards? Uh, hey, I hope everybody. Up, fucking bastards. I hope everybody that has seen me uh, not said anything to me on this little tour regrets it. I'm lonely. No, you're not. I'm a lonely little guy. I have, I have, I have no problem saying this that everyone who likes our podcast that didn't talk to you made the right decision <laughs> yeah but if they had talked to me there'd be one less lonely boy no there still would be i'd still be lonely i'd still be alone yeah, actually <laughs> sometimes the most lonely you can feel is when you're around every like all your friends oh, yeah for like sometimes you're in a room and there's just so much people and they're like they're talking about things like I don't know, chicks asses and like money in the stock markets. And I'm just in my head thinking about like the cosmos and NFTs. And that makes you feel alone. The cosmos makes you feel lonely because you're such a small speck I'm such a in small this speck. like huge galaxy. And then NFTs make you feel small because you're too poor to afford them. Yeah, I want a picture of a monkey, but I will never be able to get one. And then even if I ever did get a picture of a monkey, I would never be able to get a mega mutant serum to turn it into a mega mutant monkey i made an nft today yeah yeah do you think i should try to sell it yeah we got homies that are in the nft sphere they could probably help you out with getting the nft minted oh that's what i have to do i have to get it minted yeah i think you get it i min- can't just post to like hey i got an nft for sale like hit me up hit my cash app <laughs> with 15 bucks i got you there so there's a uh you i think an african artist on uh whoa okay i don't i was gonna say ugandan are you allowed to say that i think i can say african i don't know what exactly where he's from it's it's yugo jesse he it's at yugo jesse he makes these little web comics of chicks with huge boobs uh that are usually like squirting or like having great sex because the guy has taken a specific uh like herb that he's then selling in the in the description is the herb the nft or is the whole thing an nft like a well, chick squirting while being fucked by a guy who ate herbs he just started making nfts and it's like it's usually like a chick with giant boobs and a giant ass and then he says dm me send me 50 dollars, and this nft will be yours <laughs> that sounds like basically my my yeah. but i'm gonna undercut him i'm going 15. well if he's going 50 i can probably go 25 yeah you could probably i go 25 you could start at 25, maybe go up to 30, depending on the NFT. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I, it only took me like two or three hours to make. So I could, I mean, that's not a great hourly rate, like sure. 25 bucks, three that's hours about, of work. That's pretty yeah. dog shit. That's pretty far less, under. Yeah. That's a little, mm. quite a bit less than 10. It's closer to eight. Yeah, maybe, eight. maybe I should. Maybe the better I get at it, the, the faster I'll be. So then I'll start making ten dollars an hour instead of eight eventually. What was your NFT that you made? Well, if I tell you, then it won't really be a secret anymore. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess I can't really get the NFT for free. Yeah, it's like a loot crate. You have to, if you want it, you got to buy it, and you have to wait for me to send it to you. Which I, I may mail a photo of it to you, yeah. or I might just hit your bless your email one time. I've been uh, dropping NFTs up and down the West Coast this uh, this last week. Taking shits is not NFTs. We have talked about this. Everyone does that. Yeah, uh, nasty fucking turds. Yeah, or pissing in the snow is, counts as an NFT. Yeah, pissing in the snow counts as an NFT. Also, doing like a funny cartwheel in front of your friends, it counts as an NFT. No, because you have to be able to capture it. So if someone doesn't take a photo or a like... video of it. Yeah, like make a GIF or something. But coming on a mirror is, is an NFT. Coming on a mirror is definitely an NFT. Uh, coming on the little, uh, you know, the like bath mat that's in a hotel that's actually just a towel in the shape of a bath mat that's on the ground. I think. Yeah. Is it um, like, is it the thing that they put like on the counter in the bathroom that's just like a towel that you put on the floor, not like a bath mat? Yeah. It's a towel that you put on the floor. But these holiday ends we've been saying. I have no idea what you're talking about then. No, I don't think I've ever heard anything like that. Oh. Well, coming on one of those is an NFT too. What's the what's the joke there? It's not a nasty fucking turd, but it's nope. Mm. Uh, nasty. I guess, I don't want to go nasty again. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Nice friggin' twist job on your cock. 
Twist job is a cool t- turn of phrase for hand job. <laughs> Twist job sounds nice. Because if you're getting yeah. a regular get, hand job, is get like twisted. A, oh, tug job. That's a regular hand job. It's oh, yeah. But then oh. a twist job, you're applying some uh, some pepper grinder action to it. Yeah, dude. Yesterday, Steve was walking around with a pepper grinder. It was so <laughs> weird. It was fucking cracking me up. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> respect. You got, I mean, sometimes you see some food that's unseasoned. You got to drop some pepper on it. Yeah, my man wanted to cook steaks up, but then he just grabbed a pepper grinder. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you to understand the train of thought. Just thought it was a cool thing to tell everyone. Respect, respect to the homie Steve. Everybody, that's Steve Space. Yeah, Steve Space. Frost. Um, he doesn't have any NFTs, but I think he might like the one I made. He might want to buy it. Sure, I could drop. Maybe it. I'll just maybe I'll do like a, one of those things where like, uh, people, everyone's like, oh, you a, ra- oh, a raffle. Mm, okay. Like, every, yeah, everyone That's throw five bucks good. on this. Yeah, I can probably make more than ten dollars an hour. No, and it's yeah. definitely worth more than five dollars. When I raffled off my uh, Brotherhood record, I was doing ten dollars a slot, made like five hundred bucks for a record that's worth maybe a hundred. That's, I mean, that's a good rate if you want to get it. Yeah, if you can get that, kind and it's of a raffle. great rate if you want to sell it. Oh, straight up, way better, way better on both sides. You know what's you know what's cool? What? The song won by Metallica. Oh yeah. And you know what I wish they would do? Uh, I wish they a... would I wish they would requel it, make a two by Metallica. <laughs> I want I want a requel of one. I want it to be called two. Yeah, maybe we could even get three. I mean in time, but even yeah, we'd for... have to get two first. Yeah, but I really want two immediately, like maybe tomorrow. So what would happen in that? The darkness, darkness imprisoning me. Uh, darkness actually pretty, still, still imprisoning still dark. me. It's actually pretty cool, and I kind of like it. It's actually darker now. It's darker now, and I'm actually vibing. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess chilling. you just well, you become you, like Bane, where it's like you were born in it. Yeah, yeah, you're born in the dark. You're reborn. Do you think that they do like like? Do you think women get like? Uh, pre- or not pregnant? No. I'm sure tons of women get pregnant in the dark. Yeah. But do you think a lot of women give birth in the dark? Ooh, you want you, so you you don't want your kid to see anything when he pops out. Maybe that's it. Yeah, to get it. your kid prepared to deal with like dark yeah. shit that happens in life every day. It's like the the, the, like, the, the reality the, of world. What's it called when uh there's like a lady who's like or a person is it a doula is it a doula, doula a midwife. Yo, uh, that mid midwife is a dope way to like diss a wife. Yes, yeah, sure. mid <laughs> mid ass wife, bitch. I, I I'd rather be hanging out with my other wife, fucking midwife. I'm trying to chill with the doula. Is the I wonder if the the like origin of the name of midwife is like your wife's all pregnant, so she's acting all bitchy and shit. So then you get the midwife who's gonna be delivering the baby, but you get to like chill with her and like have sex with her while the wife is like being awful. No, probably not. But I do think I want to uh, go back around to what I was talking about. Where do you think that women are ever give birth in the dark? But like the doula is just holding her iPhone flashlight up <laughs> because she can't see shit. <laughs> you think that happens? Or do you think there's someone holding? Like, do you think that's the husband's job to like stand yeah. behind the doula and hold the flashlight? <laughs> the husband has to hold the iPhone flashlight. They're usually actually filming, so they might rock a. Uh you know iphone video with the flash on which does the same as the flash yeah that makes sense but that would be is, a dual, is doula the right word because that sounds more like a like a like a kind of sauce or something no doula is the right word a doula is the guy who it's a midwife i'm thinking medulla oblongata maybe yeah that's a part of your brain also not a sauce but you could probably make yeah. medulla sauce you, you could sauce it up i mean mm-hmm. i'm saucing it up on a regular basis how fun is cranium? Speaking of the medulla oblongata, <laughs> God, I miss I miss game night. I'm trying to play cranium ASAP. Yeah. If I have two options in front of me, uh, cards against humanity or cranium, that's a hard choice for me to just, pick. Just just kill me, shoot me yeah, in the head. If I have to decide, if I have to choose between those two. We can only play one game, and the choices are cards or cranium. Huh. Pull the fucking trigger, bitch. 
Well, the thing, the thing about it also is that we need a new version or a more, maybe more cranium options because at this point we're so good at it. It's just like, true. I start, I start carving something out of this uh, clay yeah. and Casey's like, it's a penis. And I go, yep, it's a penis. You guessed it. Yeah. We know every single one of the prompts. Like and I just handed it to you and then you start carving out a penis and I'm like, it's a penis. And everyone's like, how do you guys do this? Are you guys, so you guys are so good. I formed the balls perfectly. They're shaped exactly like mine. They're huge. And then the shaft is so small. Yeah, I'm like, those are balls. And then you're like, well, what's whose ball specifically? Who's balls? And then I give them a smell and I go, your balls. I'm actually pretty good at, uh, like sculpting now thanks to all the cranium experience that we have thinking of I'm pretty, going, I'm like, pretty good at sculpting now when you pull your nuts out of your pants and you just make it look like uh like maybe it's a bat wing or <laughs> you you just hold the ball super fucking tight so it looks yeah. like they're gonna burst out yeah they're gonna fucking pop out it's turning purple then you put the little rings around it so it stays that way yeah feels so or you good. Or you say, hey, can you help me pop this zit? And you pull your ball super hard. And then whoever's next to you looks over and screams. Yeah, and, and, then you, and then you start jacking off before that so that you're ready to come right as they look at it. And then they pop the zit and the zit, the like ju zit juices um, come from your penis. Uh, I never did that before. That sounds like that's not a consensual thing. No, you talk about it before. That's assault, brother. You agree to, <laughs> you agree to it before. <laughs> So <laughs> that everybody's chill with it. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah. If you're getting in this car, you're agreeing to me <laughs> coming on you and saying it's a zit. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Uh -huh. There's a sign. I, I, I like, I really like the idea of ending sentences by saying brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> I've been feeling motherfucker a lot lately, too. You mother. Yeah. I noticed that. It's, it reminds it's me of uh, Max from our band. <laughs> you you can take what you want from that yeah okay <laughs> <Except> that. <laughs> all right let's get into this freaking reboot shit. yeah we're we're in the biz yeah we saw scream this week uh it was awesome but it made us start thinking about what of what other movies need a requel they talk about the that the new killers in scream is making a requel yeah uh i got a uh, I guess I need to address something really quickly before we go any further. I I did not do mo movie reboots. I did other general reboots of okay. things. Yeah, Wait, so I'm sorry. Go. I didn't. Un yeah, I didn't understand the assignment. <laughs> well, maybe by misunderstanding the assignment, you will understand the assignment even further. Maybe you will be the one who understood the assignment the most. Oh, ga galaxy brain. Galaxy brain shit. By you want to hear my first galaxy brain? Yeah, let's go. Let's get into it. Let's plop into the galaxy of your brain, buddy. Okay. First first thing, we're doing a reboot of water. It's now powdered. Ooh. Powdered water? Yeah, all you got to do is add water and make it become nor like like liquid. Become like liquid. What is the powder made of? Water. Okay, it's powdered water. Uh You like have you ever had powdered milk? Yeah, it's it's, it's like pretty... it's like that. Yeah, you ever be uh, sucking on an old bitch's titties and powdered milk come out? No. Uh, me neither. Uh, so, yeah, because powdered milk, you add milk to it, makes more milk. Powdered soda, you add soda to it. Yeah, like got powdered Gatorade, you yeah, add powdered. to some water. So you powdered milk. Powdered milk. Powdered, wilk. <laughs> powdered milk is, like, pretty gross. Powdered Gatorade is pretty dope. Yeah. But powdered water is going to literally be the future. Sure, like, yeah. also, this should be cool for people who are, like, straight edge and don't want to look like a lame, like, pussy when they go to, like, bars and stuff. And they, everyone's doing coke in the bathroom. And you're like, oh, fuck, everyone's going to think I'm really lame. <laughs> so you just go snort some water one time.